Unpassing Diamond's Island by Thomas Moore. Read for LibriVox.org by April Gonzalez in Cavita, Philippines. See you beneath yon cloud so dark, fast gliding along a gloomy bark. His sails are full, though the wind is still, and the blows not a breath his sails to fill. Say, but thought the vessel of darkness bare, the sailing come of the grave is there, save now and again a death knell rung, and the flap of the sails with night fog hung. There lieth a wreck on the dismal shore, of cold and pitiless Labrador, where, under the moon, upon man's at frost, full many a mariner's bones are tossed. Yon shadowy bark hath been to that wreck, and the dim blue fire that lights her deck doth play on as pale and liver the crew as ever yet drank the churchyard you. To Dead Man's Isle, in the eye of the blast, to Dead Man's Isle, she speeds her fast. By skeleton shapes her sails are furled, and the hand that stays is not of this well. Oh, Harry the yawn, oh, Harry the yawn, that terrible bark, ere the night be gone, nor let morning look on so foul a sight, as would blanch forever her rosy light. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. On Passing Dead Man's Island by Thomas More, read for LibriVox.org, by Andy Sames. See you beneath yon cloud so dark, fast gliding along a gloomy bark. Her sails are full, though the wind is still, and there blows not a breath her sails to fill. Say, what doth that vessel of darkness bear? The silent calm of the grave is there. Save now and again a death knell rung, And the flap of the sails with night fog hung. There lieth a wreck on the dismal shore Of cold and pitiless Labrador, Where under the moon upon mounts of frost Full many a mariner's bones are tossed. Yon shadowy bark hath been to that wreck, And the dim blue fire that lights her deck Doth play on as pale and livid a crew As ever yet drank the churchyard dew. To Dead Man's Isle, in the eye of the blast, To Dead Man's Isle she speeds her fast, By skeleton shapes her sails are furled, And the hand that steers is not of this world. O oh, hurry thee on, O oh, hurry thee on, Thou terrible bark, ere the night be gone, Nor let morning look on so foul a sight As would blanch for ever her rosy light. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. On Passing Dead Man's Island by Thomas More, read for LibriVox.org by Britannia. See you beneath yon cloud so dark, fast gliding along a gloomy bark. Her sails are full, though the wind is still, and there blows not a breath for sails to feel. Say, what does that vessel of darkness bear? The sudden calm of the grave is there, save now and again a death knell rang, and the flap of the sails with night fung hung. There lieth a wreck on the dismal shore of cold and pitiless Labrador, where, under the moon, upon months of frost, full many a mariner bones are tossed. Yon shadowy bark has been to that wreck, and the dim blue fire that lights her deck, does play on as pale and livid a crew as ever yet drunk at the churchyard do. To Dead Man's Isle, in the eyes of the blast, to Dead Man's Isle, she speeds her fast, by skeleton shapes her sails are furled, and the hand that steals is not of his world. Oh, Arisian! Oh, Arisian! Thou terrible bark, ere the night be gone, nor would at morning look on so far a sight as would branch forever a rosy light. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. On Passing Dead Man's Island by Thomas Moore 
Read for LibriVox.org by Cynthia Moyer. See you beneath yon cloud so dark, fast gliding along a gloomy bark. Her sails are full, though the wind is still, and there blows not a breath her sails to fill. Say, what doth that vessel of darkness bear? The silent calm of the grave is there, save now and again a death knell rung, and the flap of the sails with night fog hung. There lieth a wreck on the dismal shore of cold and pitiless Labrador, where under the moon, upon mounts of frost, full many a mariner's bones are tossed. Yon shadowy bark hath been to that wreck, and the dim blue fire that lights her deck doth play on as pale and livid a crew as ever yet drank the churchyard dew. To dead man's isle in the eye of the blast, to dead man's isle she speeds her fast. By skeleton shapes her sails are furled, and the hand that steers is not of this world. O oh, hurry thee on, O oh, hurry thee on, thou terrible bark, ere the night be gone, nor let morning look on so foul a sight as would blanch forever her rosy light. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. On Passing Dead Man's Island by Thomas Moore. Read for LibriVox.org by Capricia Page. See you beneath yon cloud so dark, fast gliding along a gloomy bark. Her sails are full, though the wind is still, and there blows not a breath her sails to fill. Say, what doth that vessel of darkness bear? The silent calm of the grave is there, Save now and again a death knell rung, And the flap of the sails with night fog hung. There lieth a wreck on the dismal shore Of cold and pitiless Labrador, Where under the moon, upon mounts of frost, Full many a mariner's bones are tossed. Yon shadowy bark hath been to that wreck, And the dim blue fire that lights her deck Doth play on as pale and livid a crew As ever yet drank the churchyard dew. To dead man's isle, in the eye of the blast, To dead man's isle she speeds her fast, By skeleton shapes her sails are furled, And the hand that steers is not of this world. O oh, hurry thee on, O oh, hurry thee on, Thou terrible bark, ere the night be gone, Nor let morning look on so foul a sight As would blanch for ever her rosy light. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. On Passing Dead Man's Island by Thomas Moore Read for LibriVox.org by David Lawrence See you beneath yon cloud so dark, Fast gliding along a gloomy bark? Her sails are full, though the wind is still, And there blows not a breath her sails to fill. Say, what doth that vessel of darkness bear? The silent calm of the grave is there, Save now and again a death knell rung, and the flap of the sails with night fog hung. There lieth a wreck on the dismal shore of cold and pitiless Labrador, where, under the moon, upon mounts of frost, full many a mariner's bones are tossed. Yon shadowy bark hath been to that wreck, and the dim blue fire that lights her deck doth play on as pale and livid a crew as ever yet drank the churchyard dew. To dead man's isle, in the eye of the blast, To dead man's isle, she speeds her fast, By skeleton shapes her sails are furled, And the hand that steers is not of this world. O oh, hurry thee on, O oh, hurry thee on, thou terrible bark, Ere the night be gone, 
nor let morning look on so foul a sight as would blanch for ever her rosy light. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. On Passing Dead Man's Island by Thomas Moore. Read for LibriVox.org by Jason Mills. See you beneath yon cloud so dark, fast gliding along a gloomy bark. Her sails are full, though the wind is still, and there blows not a breath her sails to fill. Say, what doth that vessel of darkness bear? The silent calm of the grave is there, save now and again a death knell rung, and the flap of the sails with night fog hung. There lieth a wreck on the dismal shore of cold and pitiless Labrador, where under the moon upon mounts of frost full many a mariner's bones are tossed. Yon shadowy bark hath been to that wreck, and the dim blue fire that lights her deck doth play on as pale and livid a crew as ever yet drank the churchyard dew. To Dead Man's Isle, in the eye of the blast, to Dead Man's Isle she speeds her fast, by skeleton shapes her sails are furled, and the hand that steers is not of this world. O oh, hurry thee on, O oh, hurry thee on, thou terrible bark, ere the night be gone, nor let morning look on so foul a sight as would blanch for ever her rosy light. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. On Passing Dead Man's Island by Thomas Moore. Read for LibriVox.org by Jeff Dumas. United States, Arkansas. See you, beneath yon cloud so dark, fast gliding along, a gloomy bark. Her sails are full, though the wind is still, and there blows not a breath her sails to fill. Say what doth that vessel of darkness bear? The silent calm of the grave is there. Save now and again a death knell rung, And the flap of the sails with night fog hung. There lieth a wreck on the dismal shore Of cold and pitiless Labrador, Where under the moon, upon mounts of frost, Full many a mariner's bones are tossed. Yon shadowy bark hath been to that wreck, And the dim blue fire that lights her deck Doth play on as pale and livid a crew As ever yet drank the churchyard dew. To Dead Man's Isle in the eye of the blast, To Dead Man's Isle she speeds her fast. By skeleton shapes her sails are furled, And the hand that steers is not of this world. O oh, hurry thee on, O oh, hurry thee on, thou terrible bark, Ere the night be gone, Nor let morning look on so foul a sight As would blanch forever her rosy light. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. On Passing Dead Man's Island by Thomas Moore. Read for LibriVox.org by Janie Meisberger, Gig Harbor, Washington. See you beneath yon cloud so dark, fast gliding along a gloomy bark. Her sails are full, though the wind is still, and there blows not a breath her sails to fill. Say, what doth that vessel of darkness bear? The silent calm of the grave is there, Save now and again a death knell rung, And the flap of the sails with night fog hung. There lieth a wreck on the dismal shore Of cold and pitiless Labrador, Where, under the moon, upon mounts of frost, Full many a mariner's bones are tossed. Yon shadowy bark hath been to that wreck, and the dim blue fire that lights her deck Doth play on as pale and livid a crew As ever yet drank the churchyard dew. To Dead Man's Isle, in the eye of the blast, To Dead Man's Isle she speeds her fast, By skeleton shapes her sails are furled, And the hand that steers is not of this world. O oh, hurry thee on, O oh, hurry thee on, thou terrible bark, Ere the night be gone, nor let morning look on so foul a sight as would blanch for ever her rosy light. 
End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. On Passing Dead Man's Island by Thomas Moore. Read for LibriVox.org by Julia Niedermeyer. See you beneath yon cloud so dark, fast gliding along a gloomy bark. Her sails are full, though the wind is still, and her blows not a breath her sails to fill. Say, what doth that vessel of darkness bear? The silent calm of the grave is there, save now and again a death knell rung, and the flap of the sails with a night fog hung. There lieth a wreck on the dismal shore of cold and pitiless Labrador where under the moon upon mounts of frost full many a mariner's bones are tossed yon shadowy bark hath been to that wreck and the dim blue fire that lights her deck doth play on as pale and livid a crew as ever yet drank the churchyard dew to dead man's isle in the eye of the blast to dead man's isle she speeds her fast by skeleton shapes her sails are furled and the hand that steers is not of this world O oh, hurry thee on, O oh, hurry thee on, Thou terrible bark, ere the night be gone. Nor let morning look on so foul a sight, As would blanch for ever her rosy light. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. On Passing Dead Men's Island by Thomas More Read for LibriVox.org by Kevin Coe See you beneath yon cloud so dark, Fast gliding along a gloomy bark, her sails are full, though the wind is still, and there blows not a breath her sails to fill. Say, what doth that vessel of darkness bear? The silent calm of the grave is there, save now and again a death now rung, and the flap of the sails with night fog hung. There lieth the wreck on the dismal shore of cold and piteous Labrador, where under the moon upon mountains of frost, full many a mariner's bones are tossed. Yon shadowy bark hath been to that wreck, And the dim blue fire that lights her deck, Doth play on its pale and livid a crew, As ever yet drank the churchyard dew. To dead men's isle in the eye of the blast, To dead men's isle she speeds her fast. By skeleton shapes her sails are furled, And the hand that steers is not of this world. Oh, hurry thee on, oh, hurry thee on, Thou terrible bark, ere the night be gone, Nor let morning look on so foul a sight as would blanch forever her rosy light. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. On Passing Dead Man's Island by Thomas More Read for LibriVox.org by Leanne Howlett See you, beneath yon cloud so dark, fast gliding along a gloomy bark. Her sails are full, Though the wind is still, and there blows not a breath her sails to fill. Say, what doth that vessel of darkness bear? The silent calm of the grave is there, save now and again a death knell rung, and the flap of the sails with night fog hung. There lieth a wreck on the dismal shore of cold and pitiless Labrador, where under the moon upon mounts of frost full many a mariner's bones are tossed. Yon shadowy bark hath been to that wreck, And the dim blue fire that lights her deck Doth play on as pale and livid a crew As ever yet drank the churchyard dew. To dead man's isle, in the eye of the blast, To dead man's isle she speeds her fast. By skeleton shapes her sails are furled, And the hand that steers is not of this world. Oh, hurry thee on, oh, hurry thee on, Thou terrible bark, ere the night be gone, nor let morning look on so foul a sight as would blanch for ever her rosy light. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. On Passing Dead Man's Island by Thomas Moore Read for LibriVox.org by Leonard Wilson of Springfield, Ohio. See you beneath yon cloud so dark, Fast gliding along a gloomy bark. Her sails are full, though the wind is still, And there blows not a breath her sails to fill. Say, what doth that vessel of darkness bear? 
the silent calm of the grave is there save now and again a death knell rung and the flap of the sails with night fog hung there lieth a wreck on the dismal shore of cold and pitiless labrador where under the moon upon mounts of frost full many a mariner's bones are tossed yon shadowy bark hath been to that wreck and the dim blue fire that lights her deck doth play on as pale and livid a crew as ever yet drank the churchyard dew to dead man's isle in the eye of the blast to dead man's isle she speeds her fast by skeleton shapes her sails are furled and the hand that steers is not of this world oh hurry thee on oh hurry thee on thou terrible bark ere the night be gone nor let morning look on so foul a sight as would blanch for ever her rosy light and a poem this recording is in the public domain on passing dead man's island by thomas moore read for librivox dot org by ratandeep satwan singh jamshedpur india see you beneath yon cloud so dark fast gliding along a gloomy bar her sails are full though the wind is still and there blows not a breath her sails to fill say what doth that vessel of darkness bear the silent calm of the grave is there save now and again a death knell rung and the flap of the sails with night fog hung there lieth a wreck on the dismal shore of cold and pitiless labrador where under the moon upon mounts of frost full many a mariner's bones are tossed yon shadowy bark hath been to that wreck and the dim blue fire that lights her deck doth play on as pale and livid a crew as ever yet drank the churchyard do to dead man's isle in the eye of the blast to dead man's isle she speeds her fast by skeleton shapes her sails are furled and the hand that stirs is not of this world oh hurry thee on oh hurry thee on thou terrible bark ere the night be gone nor let morning look on so foul a sight as would blanch forever her rosy light end of poem this recording is in the public domain on passing dead man's island by thomas moore read for librivox.org by ronda fetterman see you beneath yon cloud so dark fast gliding along a gloomy bark her sails are full though the wind is still and there blows not a breath her sails to fill say what doth that vessel of darkness bear the silent calm of the grave is there save now and again a death knell rung and the flap of the sails with the night fog hung there lieth a wreck on the dismal shore of cold and pitiless labrador where under the moon upon mounts of frost full many a mariner's bones are tossed yon shadowy bark hath been to that wreck and the dim blue fire that lights her deck doth play on as pale and livid a crew as ever yet drank the churchyard dew to dead man's isle in the eye of the blast to dead man's isle she speeds her fast by skeleton shapes her sails are furled 
and the hand that steers is not of this world oh hurry thee on oh hurry thee on thou terrible bark ere the night be gone nor let morning look on so foul a sight as would blanch for ever her rosy light end of poem this recording is in the public domain on passing dead man's island by thomas moore read for librivox.org by raven notation 2012 raven notation.wordpress.com see you beyond yon cloud so dark fast gliding along a gloomy bark her sails are full though the wind is still and there blows not a breath her sails to fill say what doth that vessel of darkness bear the silent calm of the grave is there save now and again a death knell rung and the flap of the sails with night fog hung there lieth a wreck on the dismal shore of cold and pitiless labrador where under the moon upon mounts of frost full many a mariner's bones are tossed yon shadowy bark hath been to that wreck and the dim blue fire that lights her deck doth play on as pale and livid a crew as ever yet drank the churchyard dew to dead man's isle in the eye of the blast to dead man's isle she speeds her fast by skeleton shapes her sails are furled and the hand that steers is not of this world oh hurry thee on oh hurry thee on thou terrible bark ere the night be gone nor let morning look on so foul a sight as would blanch forever her rosy light End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. On Passing Dead Man's Island by Thomas Moore. Read for LibriVox by Sarah Souza. See you beneath yon cloud so dark, fast gliding along a gloomy bark. Her sails are full, though the wind is still and there blows not a breath her sails to fill say what doth that vessel of darkness bear the silent calm of the grave is there save now and again a death knell rung and the flap of the sails with night fog hung there lieth a wreck on the dismal shore of cold and pitiless labrador where under the moon upon mounts of frost Full many a mariner's bones are tossed. Yon shadowy bark hath been to that wreck, And the dim blue fire that lights her deck Doth play on as pale and livid a crew As ever yet drank the churchyard dew. To dead man's isle in the eye of the blast, To dead man's isle she speeds her fast. By skeleton shapes her sails are furled, And the hand that steers is not of this world. Oh, hurry thee on, oh, hurry thee on, thou terrible bark, ere the night be gone. Nor let morning look on so foul a sight as would blanch forever her rosy light. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. On Passing Dead Man's Island by Thomas Moore Read for LibriVox.org by Tara Dow See you beneath yon cloud so dark Fast gliding along a gloomy bark Her sails are full, though the wind is still And there blows not a breath her sails to fill Say... What doth that vessel of darkness bear? The silent calm of the grave is there. 
save now and again a death knell rung and the flap of the sails with night fog hung there lieth a wreck on the dismal shore of cold and pitiless labrador where under the moon upon mounts of frost full many a mariner's bones are tossed yon shadowy bark hath been to that wreck and the dim blue fire that lights her deck doth play on as pale and livid a crew as ever yet drank the churchyard dew to dead man's isle in the eye of the blast to dead man's isle she speeds her fast by skeleton shapes her sails are furled and the hand that steers is not of this world oh hurry thee on oh hurry thee on thou terrible bark ere the night be gone nor let morning look on so foul a sight as would blanch for ever her rosy light end of poem this recording is in the public domain